Then choose a new project, choose your single view app, and click next. And you can call it whatever. We're just playing. Click next, click create. And then, um, if you go to main dot storyboard, yeah, I'm I'm gonna give you most of today to, um, because I don't think a lot of you finished that completely. I'll take a look at it after I show this. Oh, are you talking about Jason Hendrick's team? I think you might be the only one that. Was it the Android Studio project? No, the Xcode from last time. The Xcode from last time, I didn't end up get finished. Okay, so 100% of you didn't get it, uh, so. Um, which, is, which is fine. Okay, so now over here. If you scroll down through here, you see you have uh, view controller, uh, navigation controller, table view controller, a lot of different controllers. You also see there's some views down here. Horizontal stack view, vertical stack view, so forth. If you choose horizontal stack view, and drag and drop it on here. So is it the order app? Yes. Well, uh, I always delete my project after I turn it in. So if it's not turned in, then it didn't. I think I got that one done. He probably did. Okay, so then up here, you can drop on uh, these different items, like if I drop on a text field. Maybe it's a stack view. The vertical stack, uh, vertical stack view. Yeah, if you scroll down, you'll see it. Um, I chose a horizontal stack view. Oh. And uh, sometimes it's hard to drop it on there. If I drop another text field on there, if you're not in the right place, you'll drop it on the main main form. Um, you can also come over here to your view controller scene and you can drop it on right here. Drop on another text field over here. And you see what it's doing. It's putting them side by side like that. Now there's other views. If I choose a vertical stack view and drag it on here. Now if I put elements on this, drop a button on there. Again, it's kind of tricky uh, dropping it in the right place. So it's probably easier to come over here to your view controller scene and drop it here. Again, by default, um, it just makes it just as big as it needs to. If I click one of these buttons and change the text of it, Let's see, this is my button. You'll see that it, again, modifies this to, um, to fit the data you have. Now, if I click Stack View over here, and then I come over here and I click and start moving, what you'll see is it moves everything that's in that view. So that's, uh, besides just the organizational aspect, it allows you to very quickly move 
all the elements inside of it. You see there's a table view. An image view, collection, collection view. It's interesting. You can drop a collection on here. Um, displays data in a collection of cells. So you could um, display text in theory from the way that's described and also you could um, uh, display images. You see there's a scroll view. It provides a mechanism to display content as larger than the size of the application. Remember how those, we dropped those images on last time? Some of them were huge. If you wanted a um, uh, scroll capability, again, you drop a scroll on here, and then you draw, it would drop your image underneath scroll view. So all these give you, give you more flexibility in what you can do with them. Now, um, what I want you to do, and again, I don't want to cover much today because I want to give you time to work on the project from last time and give you a new one, is um, let me go through and clean this up a little bit. By the way, do you want to see the same project? It's up to you. If you use this view controller scene here, you can very easily uh, clean it up and delete it. I want um, a linear, a layout, or not linear, a vertical uh, layout. Within that, I drop you, I want you to drop on three buttons. Notice where I dropped that one. I, no, outside of it. I meant for it to be in that view. So again, if I come over here, I can simply move it, and now it's in that view. So tricky sometimes getting it in the right right place. You just simply drag it and drop it. It's on one of the existing ones that'll put it there. Maybe not in order you want. But you want three buttons. Kind of clean them up a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer than just button, button, button. And um, when you click each one, each one goes to a different screen. So a different view. The view will have just a, an image on it and a back button. The back button will take you back to this main screen here. Okay. So just transitions. More transitions, getting used to going back and forth on those. And then uh, that should give you time to work on that uh, project from last time also. Because I know we kind of ran short of time last time. Yeah. Really need to go 